Hi everyone, this is Trevor from Astro Backyard. Here we are in the backyard on a Sunday night. And uh, actually it's the second clear night in a row during New Moon. And uh, last night was a Saturday and it was actually the Lyrid Meteor Shower as well. But uh, for whatever reason I had no energy to uh, stay up and do astrophotography and it hasn't been that way in a long time. So uh, I've got some extreme guilt that's been weighing on me all day about that, so I've got to make up for it tonight. And uh, so I, I intend to huge uh, by photographing the whale galaxy. Um, I shot this one last year. You may have seen that version, but that was with my 80mm uh, telescope. So we're going to try it again using this CCD camera and the 102mm uh, uh, ED. Let's talk about cameras for a second. Now, Astro Backyard has always been a DSLR astrophotography blog, but recently I've been using a CCD camera. And uh, it's a transition I always knew I would someday make, I just didn't know when. Because of my partnership with Ontario Telescope and Accessories, he's generously provided me with uh, the ASI 071 CCD camera and uh, to be honest, as long as I have that camera in my hands, I'm going to be using that instead of my Canon T3i. Now don't get me wrong, I love this camera. I'll always use a DSLR with a camera lens for my wide field astrophotography on a tracking mount such as the Ioptron Sky Tracker. That's something I want to be getting uh, before the summer Milky Way season starts for some wide field shots. But as for deep sky astrophotography, where the exposures need to be uh, in the three to five minute range, having a cooled CCD camera with a minus 20 sensor makes all the difference in the world in post-processing. And just the time I save alone, not having to worry about removing noise, uh, has me sold on CCD imaging. Tonight's one of those nights where it's just crystal clear outside and uh, I spent a little longer than normal during star alignment uh, just doing some visual observing. Um, the whale galaxy is close to a double star called uh, Cor Coroli and uh, it started with that. I'm using that just to uh, focus with my Batonoff mask and uh, I ended up exploring from there uh, just because the views were spectacular tonight. But anyways, back to our main imaging target for tonight, NGC 4631, the Whale Galaxy. Uh, now this is a barred spiral galaxy that has a wedge shape to it that resembles a whale. And uh, it has a central star forming region that gives it um, a bright yellow orangey glow in the, cent in the center that uh, pans out to more of a blue purple look to it. And uh, in my wide field telescope, it's, uh, it's on the smaller side, but uh, not too bad. Um, as you know, the focal length of my, my telescope at about 714 millimeter means that most galaxies during galaxy season are, are quite small. Um, but uh, the whale galaxy, uh, I would suggest it if, if you do have a refractor like mine, uh, it is a satisfying target. Uh, as a bonus, the hockey stick galaxy will also appear in the same field of view, so I'm hoping to pick that up as well. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this should be a great example of the quality of the images produced by the ASI 071 MC Cool CCD camera. One last thing, because of you guys and the 6,000 subscribers to the Astro Backyard channel, um, Ontario Telescope and Accessories has given me the GP Cam Altair Astro uh, and Starway 50mm guide scope auto guiding package, uh, which is amazing because uh, my budget doesn't really allow to uh, to upgrade my gear this year. So you that's you guys basically gave that to me as a gift um, from your following on YouTube and on Facebook, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough. So if you've ever felt like uh, you want to pay me back for some of the information I've provided, uh, you just did.
So here we are in uh, Astrophotography Tool. And uh, a lot of people say it reminds them of Backyard EOS when they had their DSLR, and I definitely agree. Uh, it's not just the red skin that it's on it right now either. It's I think it's the overall user friendliness of it, and the big uh, the big descriptions and big buttons. Speaking of which, one of my favorite uh, things about this, uh, first of all, the cooling aid right right here. Um, so as you can see, my target CCD temperature is minus 20, and uh, my current is at uh, minus 14. Uh, so that little tool tip that just popped up there, those are everywhere, and uh, that is so helpful when you're just learning a new software, wondering uh, what everything does. You can kind of just hover over it, and uh, it will tell you exactly what you need to know. Uh, you can see them just popping up everywhere here. So that's the cooling aid uh, because I've got the CCD plugged into uh, an AC power source. Uh, and as you can see, we're just going to close that down. We're in the camera section here. This is where you do your uh, image planning. Uh, and some settings here. You can see the cooler on. That's where the cooler aid is. Um, and your gear. This is where you would connect your, your telescope mount with ASCOM. Um, and then some amazing tools in here I'm just getting started with. I've heard great things about Pixel Aid. Uh, I'm yet to use it, but uh, as you can see, there's a great description right there. And uh, when you do finally uh, learn all these tools, um, you can turn the tool tips on and off here. Uh, I'm going to keep them on for now as I'm just uh, still learning the software. Uh, you can see the folders where your, your images are stored. So the plan for tonight is to take 300 second exposures uh, at the uh, unity gain setting on the camera and uh, I'm going to take um, 40 now that I've just flipped. Um, I did a meridian flip so the scope has begun tracking past the meridian and this will take it into about a little after 4 in the morning. <laughs> 